Hi. Hello, everyone. Hi. Great to be at Quant, finally. How are you, Michael? Perfect, it's a sunny day and you're here. <laughs> Last year at the PEC Summit, you gave a fantastic presentation about things that are happening and I came. I came to Quant because I want to see them. What's new at Quant? Well, systems are working. You want to see that? Yes, very, okay, very much. Then come with me. I guess you still remember that stage um, when we basically produced ten film lithium nitrate wafers. We um, also uh, basically manufactured chips. We packaged them. You probably remember still the big ones. And we now basically took everything together. And if you turn around, the first servers are operating. So you have already made thin film lithium ion chips into servers. Yeah, well, exactly. So what we actually did is, wait a second, I guess you still remember this card, right? So I showed it last year at one of your events. That's a PCI Express card. It contains a photonic lithium niobate chip inside. It's on a PCI Express card. And since a few months, we have operating system which are full x86 compatible. So there's a Linux operating system on it. There is a host CPU. The cards are implemented and actually the systems are working and can already classify pictures. So this is fully a standardized interface towards the photo photonic AI processor. Absolutely. And this is fully compatible with all the computers that are doing processing of AI today. So it's fully compatible on the hardware level to what you're used to in the computer industry. But not only that, it's also fully compatible with the software stacks. So the compiler that we've assembled um, is compatible, for instance, to Python, C++, and you can also use the libraries from PyTorch to Keras and basically use your source code as you have it in order to communicate with the card. You finally proved the photonic AI is a thing. Absolutely. You want to see that? I don't believe this works. <laughs> of that, course. Does it work? <laughs> I mean, this is why you're here, I guess. All right. But okay. we have one showcase. So yes. basically, here's one server system inside. Uh, we can also open the door. It's real. So this is one of the NPS system. It's a bit more shiny because it's towards one of our first customers. So you directly see it in the, the mounts. And here's a prompt. And what we've basically prepared now is that you can identify fruits. Um, we take a tablet, we scan an apple or an orange, we send the job to the photonic unit and we process it and then the system tells you whether it was an orange, an apple or a pear. Um, and it shows you how less energy has been consumed and the percentage, how certain the system is about which fruit it is. So just to recap, you took a thin thin lithium niobate chip that you manufactured yourself here in Stuttgart. You put it into one unit like this one. Yeah. You put that into a photonic AI accelerator with all the different components that you see in a computer and you put that on a rack yeah. and you made a demo to detect fruit. Yeah. We need to see this. So here is the tablet um, and you pick the fruit. I'm going to pick an apple. So you pick an apple. So what we essentially do, you can also take the picture. So let's take it like this. Okay, picture. Yes. Okay, we upload. I load the picture to the MPU. So now system starts operating. You also see it here on the prompt lines. It's processing. Um, basically, this is now the communication between the host and uh, the cloud. And after, now it's already compiling the data, which you see here. It's mapping. And we see the results popping up right here. So it says it's an apple. With 99.8% certainty. Apple, 99.8% certainty at 100 mOps. This so was the calculation speed. And the energy efficiency was 500 Gops per watt. You made a chatgpt like photonic <laughs> processing demo. Yeah. I'm very impressed from thinking lithium I've achieved all the way to having a photonic AI processor, this is very exciting. So what is next for, for Quant now? Speed up. <laughs> How are you so, going to do that? Well, basically what we currently are optimizing is the, um, the data transport from the memory, which is also included, to the photonics unit and back. 
and currently the systems are still operating, don't believe it or not, at 200 megahertz. The next version is already coming at one gigahertz clock speed. Mm -hmm. well, probably at the end of the year, let's see. And uh, by that, we are in the competitive edge uh, to what you would say is a state-of-the-art graphic card. Then. The biggest question for Quant, a company that is getting excitement from every corner, is what is Quant going to be? Are you manufacturing TFLN chips? Are you making units like this one? Are you going to provide full solutions? What is the future of Quant? So for the moment, we ship the systems, so the full racks, um, because this is what the customers appreciate. Ultimately, we will focus on the processors based on PCI Express interface cards. That's the business model of Quant. The hype of AI is everywhere. The, the, the PEC Summit every year gets more and more excitement. What is the feedback that you're getting from your customers and the customers of your customers of Photonics? Well, the first thing, and I hope it's fair to say everyone is impressed how fast we are. I mean, we announced that we are stepping in this direction two years in the past, and now we already have working systems worldwide as the first company. The second one is everyone starting to understand why we are doing this, because we are touching the weak points of the CMOS industry. And this is acknowledged by a lot of people, especially in the context to propel AI. One thing that we need to really fully understand is that you are making a revolution, putting photonics for the first time in a GPU. Companies like AMD, like Nvidia are having alternative solutions. How do you want to collaborate, cooperate, interact with them? Well, for us, at this given point in time, the fun fact is since we are compatible on PCI Express standard, basically you can mount also a GPU from Nvidia aside to one of our MPUs and then use them in a tandem. And when I'm looking to the future, the future compute architecture does not comprise only one or two processors, but a multi-processor architecture. Every processor suit, well suited for the job and thereby propelling the whole system. The, the message is always, always, if copper can do it, copper will do it. At some point, copper will not be able to do it. When do you think that will be? It already happens. So I think um, uh, copper is great um, and was great in the past, but the future is photonics. I also agree. <laughs> you told me you were going to show me the labs secretly. Yeah. Let's have a quick look at them. But it was great to see how Quant has managed to prove that photonics can process fruit. 